Hello Virgo, hello cross watchers, welcome to Echo Catcher Tarot. This is going to be a reading for March 16th to March 22nd, 2020. So please like and subscribe. I noticed that they're telling me, they show me my views and I'm getting a lot of views. And they tell me to push you guys to subscribe. So here's what I have for you. If you push the subscription button, you can subscribe to me, which helps me out a lot. If you don't want the notifications, like you already have a bunch and you're not doing it because you don't want mine to interfere, then don't hit the bell icon and you will not get notifications, but you'll be subscribed. So if you could do that, that would really help me out a lot because they just keep pushing that. So. Also, please remember there's no way this can connect with every single Virgo out there, so if it doesn't connect, do not force it. Then you know the masculine feminine energies can be vice versa. And I always shuffle the cards off camera. I give them one more shuffle and cut the deck on camera when I turn it on, but I usually shuffle a long time off camera. I don't like to, I don't have patience to watch people shuffle, and I like it. It's relaxing to me. So we're going to start Virgo with the Whispers of the Ocean cards for you. And the first one we have for you is 5. Change direction with ease. This is a time for change, shape-shifting, or your soul's evolution. It is a time to reconsider what you are want, wanting. You may be in for a surprise. Wouldn't that be nice? So let me see what it says for 5. 5 is like... It is change. You're in the middle of something. For one is like when you're starting out. Five is when you're in the middle. And ten is completion. Either you've made it to where you want to be or you're ending that and moving on. So let's see. So this says, Butterfly fish are a symbol for change. The soul, creativity, freedom, joy, and color. They quickly change their direction and always move gracefully through the water. Butterfly fish are messengers of the moment and come in a wide array of colors with unique markings. They are comfortable in the shallow as well as deeper parts of the ocean. Butterfly fish remind you not to take things too seriously and to get up and move. If you are waiting to begin a new process, you might need to put in a bit more effort to find what you are missing. Life can quickly change direction. Remember to remain flexible as this will enable you to move gracefully through change. This card indicates transformation around a pivotal point in your life. When new options become possible and move into your awareness. Change is not only likely to happen, it is certain to happen and in next to no time. Your transformation will be personal and may require you to step onto a new or unfamiliar path. And I know Virgos like things to change. They don't like stagnation. But they also get a little uneasy when things change really fast because they don't have time to analyze it. And they have to analyze it after it happens, which they will do. So the next card for you, Virgo, is 22. Take note. Your answers are being given to you. Quieting external voices and excessive noise will give you all the chance to hear what is being offered. So 22 is a double number. I like all the numbers they say that, but I like 22 a lot too. The Hawaiian monk seal is the only seal native to Hawaii. It is currently an endangered species. Monk seals are agile and sleek in the water. They do not have external ears, just small openings. This symbolizes balance between outward hearing and paying attention to inner knowing. Take a moment to really hear what is being said. Put aside any preconceptions and allow yourself to imagine a new approach to this situation. Stepping back and paying attention in this way will enhance your inner voice and bring new insight. You can honor stillness while listening to others. By doing this, you will create better relationships and allow your inner light and love to shine out towards others as a mean of communication. So, change direction with ease and take note. So, one more of this deck for you, Virgo. Last one is 25, Breakthrough to New Dimensions. 
So a new endeavor is on the horizon. Innovative energy wants to burst forth into your conscious. So this tells me you're changing direction. It tells you to take no because it seems like you are moving into a very different direction. And it's telling you to take note and pay attention with what you feel in your inner knowing and what's going on around you. So, wow. 25. Let me see what that says really fast. So, you are being brought energy, renewed hope, faith, and a sense that you are truly blessed by the universe at this time. Courage, achievement, and inspiration are in a place in your life. You are entering an energetic phase in your life filled with impactful power. Work towards developing a profound perception of yourself and those who are around you. Have faith for the long term and trust the universe. A better future is waiting for you. It is necessary to trust your dreams are possible. This faith will help you push through obstacles, limitations, and other barriers to achieving your goal. That's pretty beautiful. I felt like something big was coming when that 25 card came up. I was like, wow, okay, this is, they're going through a big change. Okay, so now I'm going to pull the Mystical Cats Tarot card for you. And you have stars, beautiful. So this could be an Aquarius in your life, if you have an Aquarius around you. Or this could represent some kind of wish fulfillment you want from the universe and they're acknowledging they realize you're asking them for this they see that that you're reaching out maybe you want answers to why something is happening and that would be them acknowledging it love and abundance coming to you virgo beautiful The Empress so the Empress is somebody who is very nurturing very kind she is organized, she's, she's punctual with taking care of the appointments and the pets and the children and she's just a very, very positive energy for a family or for anybody but really she, she's happiest when she has a lot of people to take care of. So Sky Kitten is a couple things. This could be lower energy annoying you coming in or this could be immaturity just like happy playful. When people are really happy they get playful. So is this happy annoying or happy happy. So see kitten. Wow. So this is somebody young coming in. I feel like they're balanced and it's in start of something new. So whether it's a new friendship, a new love, a new family member, something like that. So the wheel is something changing so something new can begin. So it seems like you've completed a cycle. And this hasn't been coming out for very many people since like last fall, right before the holidays. So this is, it came out for one other sign, but I don't remember who it was. I want to say Scorpio. So this means that you have completed some lessons and you're going into a new cycle. Good for you. And it's been hard for you, I feel, and you're getting ready to get an easier cycle. You you have completed something. I feel like the universe has tested you and you passed those tests. So the next card is Eight of C. Eight of C is a couple things. This could be somebody who needs to be selfish to get through a hard situation. Or this could be somebody just being not very nice. They're holding their head up and they're acting like they're better than other people. So three of Earth is friend, uh, co-workers. So C King, somebody's watching you. Somebody's watching you to see what you're doing, Virgo. I feel like they have feelings for you, but they're not telling you they have feelings for you. They're just watching you. It's so confusing when people do that. But that's what's going on there, it looks like. So, Demon Cat. This could represent a Capricorn Virgo, or you could have Capricorn placement in your birth chart. 
or this could represent lower energies coming towards you. Fire Queen. This could be an angry female, a beautiful female. And maybe she's angry. So this is Five of Earth. This is you ghosting somebody or somebody ghosting you or maybe you both ghosted each other. But somebody's feeling left out. They miss somebody. So Grace. Grace is patience. You're moving exactly as you're supposed to. You've gone through the hard emotional part and you're almost to the end. And a lot of people have been getting this. A lot of Zodiacs. A lot of this card. Like we all have went through a cycle and there was a difficult time and we all made it through the difficult time and now we're towards the end. And this is strength. This could be a Leo around you or Leo placement in your birth chart. Nine of Fire. So this could represent an addiction. This is my addiction card. This is NA, AA, AA meetings. This could be incarceration, jail, prison. So the strength card came out. Patience and strength and then addiction. So for those of you that are fighting an addiction, it says you have the strength. And then it says you must have patience that you're almost there. It looks like you are so close to completing it. And I feel like if you become addicted to something, you must have a strong personality to begin with. Because it's just people who seem really strong are the ones who fall into that. Like they think they're so strong that they can fight it or it won't happen to them. It's kind of scary that that happens. So... Most people who have an addiction are strong to begin with. They just lose their way from love. And and then they don't realize how much strength they actually have until they find it again. Alright, so I think I'm going to switch over to the Chakra Wisdom deck now. Eight of Wands. Eight of Wands is you leaving something in the past and moving forward to a more passionate life that you want. Something is not going forward with you. So healing. You're healing from something that hurt you in the past. Virgo. Four of Wands. So I don't know if you're healing from a broken marriage, you're healing from a troublesome marriage, or if you're moving into a marriage because you are healing. Either or. We'll see more what the cards say here. So Five of Swords. This is jealousy, lower vibrations, somebody wanting to fight. I feel like people may be wanting to fight around you. I don't I don't like this card, but this is basically lower energies. There's three people in this card. When I feel like the two females are not looking, the male is just glaring at her. Feel free to vice versa masculine feminine. I'm just reading the card. So Princess of Swords, so you're gonna cut somebody out. Somebody who's spying on you or interfering in your life or who this is love chakra, so you're going to cut somebody out. And you may love this person, but Virgos will love you, but if you cross a boundary that Virgo has set for themselves that they would not cross for somebody they love, they will not put up with somebody they love crossing it against them. And that's a difference. So if you're dating a Virgo and you're going to do something, think, okay, would the Virgo do this to me? And the answer is probably usually going to be no. And if the Virgo would not do it to you, I would suggest don't do it to Virgo. Because you're just going to reap bad karma, I feel. But that's totally up to you. So we're moving on to the next card is four coins. You have three heart chakra cards right here. So you're putting your love close to you. The walls are up. 
the shades are down and you're like, nope, okay, you didn't, you were not worthy of my love. You took advantage of it, so it's close to me now and it's not open for business. Thank you. Three of Swords, so I feel like somebody put you in a third party, Virgo, Virgo, Virgo. So, this is devastating to a lot of signs when people do this. I am just shocked that people don't think about the consequences. So I wonder how that person feels now, because I can tell you. So this is two of coins. So this is flexibility and compromise. So I don't know if you were flexible and compromised with somebody and you did not even suspect a third party was being brought into your relationship. And I feel like you're kind of mad at yourself that you were so compromising and so flexible to that person. Ace of Swords. And you said, hasta la vista. You're not going to put up with it. And they, I feel like they threatened your identity, which means they could have said something about you behind your back and somebody may have asked you about it. And that is horrifying in and of itself when you hear something that's not even true or about you that you're just like what where did you hear that so something happened with a third party and Virgo has two swords you have the princess of swords and you have the ace of swords so Virgo's not playing around so king of wands so this looks like somebody new coming in and this is a probably an entrepreneur. He has a lot of ideas. He has a lot of thoughts. He is happy. He is balanced in his coins, balanced in his emotions, balanced in his life. I almost feel like it's destiny, Virgo. We'll see what the rest of the cards say. Four Cups. So you have a past love that you still cannot let go of. There's three, four cups here, but you're focusing on the one that tipped over. And you got to let go of it. I know it's hard, Virgo, but there's no reason to hang on to it. So this is the moon. You can have a Pisces in your birth chart or Pisces around you. This is yin and yang, so things are going to balance. You see the moon, a big secret could be coming forth before things balance out is what I feel. So then you have Princess of Wands. Princess of Wands is somebody who is very protected by the universe. It's probably you, Virgo. You see the stag in the back, that means that she is protected all the time. So you had an opportunity or you have an opportunity coming to you that is going to be protected by the divine, I feel. An opportunity is coming to you and you're so confused about the way the last one went, you're going to be on guard about the next one. And this card basically says you're beyond that past one. You're moving forward and you need to, that's in the past. Look at this, two of cups, somebody finds you so attractive. They think you're beautiful. They are handsome, vice versa energies where they apply. They want to offer you a lot. They want to make you happy. They want to spoil you. They want to show you off. They want to go show people that look who I'm with, look who I have, look at my Virgo. Beautiful, the card sure did change. So you just have your faith, you just get over that and keep yourself exactly the way you are, Virgo, because somebody is going to love you for what the other person found fault with. It was ridiculous. Knight of Coins. So your person has stability with coins that's coming towards you. And he has, he's going to use his throat chakra in some way to voice that to you. So I don't know if he's going to brag or if he's going to voice, yeah, somehow he's going to voice to you that he has got money. So Nine of Swords, this is regret. 
you have some sort of regret of something in the past that you feel bad about. Maybe that you met somebody new and this person is changing your life and they have a lot of feelings for you and they have a lot of coins so it's making you feel guilty that your life turned into such abundance when it was not in abundance two to four weeks ago, if that makes sense. I kind of already know what the next cards are going to be without pulling it, I feel. So Six of Wands, this is pretty close to what I was thinking. This is a victory and a success over negative energies. You listen to your intuition, Virgo, and it will guide you. Death. So some part of you is ending and a new part is is growing and moving into a higher, loving, more spiritual realm. So that is very sad because I feel like a part of you that really loves somebody recently, you have to let go of that part of you because you can't let go of that person. And it really breaks your heart, but you're going to be fine. And a lot of people have to do that to release themselves from... A lifetime of sadness. I know that's harsh, but you do have to release the, the love that hurt you or was unrequited. You can't hang on to it. It's negative energy and it's not good to stay in that energy. So, let me pull one more because we need to do the other cards. Judgment. So there's three people around you. It looks like two males and a female who may have caused you hardship and participated in the last relationship having issues. So this is a three-party. I feel like your person you're involved with, it just hit me just now, may have been in a third party with both sexes, if that makes sense. That's what I'm picking up out of this card. And I've never picked that up before, but it's coming out loud and clear in this reading. Alright, so... King of Coins. Beautiful. So, judgment is going to be passed on those people. And a king is coming your way. You had the King of Wands. You have the Knight of Coins. And now you have the King of Coins. So you have a lot of opportunities around you. You have a lot better dating pool to choose from at the present moment, Virgo, if that makes sense to you, than you've had previously. I feel like it's because you work through the cycle and you let go of some patterns you may have carried through your life, and the universe sees that, so they're bringing you a different dating pool class, if that makes sense. Because these last bottom three cards are the divine looking out for you. So they feel like you did good. You let go of something you needed to. They're going to pass judgment on that person and they're bringing you happiness with coins. Nice. Alright, so let me pull the Soul's Journey lesson cards for you. Health. I will honor the physical vessel that enshrines my soul. And this is all green. So that to me this has to do with healing love. And getting in the center of that flower. Where you heal and love. So you're healing. You are healing Virgo. From the past love that has really just did a number on you so to speak. Judgment. I understand that everyone has their own unique path and challenges. So, you did not pass judgment on this person, I feel, and you're kind of beating yourself up that you did not do that, but you did whatever you needed to. You're healing. Look at that. Judgment twice. Somebody who hurt you, Virgo, is going to answer to the universe. You know, we all have to learn lessons, but to purposely hurt somebody when you know they love you and you're really going to hurt them, I'm sure the divine doesn't like. I don't know because I'm not the divine, but I would think that probably aggravates them. And I've said it over and over, Virgos are the healers of the zodiac. A lot of them have special gifts. They have higher 
frequencies of hearing, higher frequencies of emotions than a lot of other people. So people who don't respect that when they come into contact with it doesn't have to deal with the Virgo, but I feel like the Divine looks out for the healers of the Zodiac. So here's Fantasy Cats Oracle running number 12. So Virgo, a lot of you are just going. You got stuff to do, places to go, and people to see. And you don't have time for the negative. So yeah, Virgo will be sad over a breakup and heard about it, but they usually won't show people. And they'll just keep going and going. Like, okay, and then you have sleeping, number 14. So I feel like you're getting downloaded in your dreaming. You're getting strong in your dreams, and that's how you're healing. You, you know it, too. I really do feel like you know it. So this is a pretty powerful reading, Virgo. I do feel powerful with that card, that third card up there. A lot of energies, a lot of different energies. Mostly the love chakra and the divine chakra. Yeah, wow. So thank you, Virgo and Cross Watchers, for coming to Echo Catcher Tarot. Please like and subscribe. Thank you.